Greetings my viewers and subscribers, I'm coming at you again with another tutorial. Yeah man. Now, even though I love all music, I love all reggae music, I love all reggae bands, I have three favorite, right? Three favorite. And those are Black Uru, Third World, and Steel Pulse. All right? I am about to teach you folks one of the greatest reggae songs of all times. The greatest reggae song on electric guitar, right? This one is entitled Rally Round the Flag by Steel Pulse. But before we go any further, I'm going to ask for you, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so now. The channel is going places. All right, don't miss the train. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit all. This way, whenever I post a video, whatever I post, you will be notified. You know, you will be the first to know. So do so now. And remember to hit the thumbs up button. All right. I have over 200 videos on this channel. So go ahead and check those out also. All right. With no further ado, let me show you to play this one. Grab your guitars. Let's go. All right, my people. Now, first, let me apologize. If you, if you are hearing any form of buzzing, in this video, you know, I apologize, all right? It's a little bit beyond my control for now. You know, I didn't want to stop the video to fix it. I just thought that probably it's, a, it's, it's okay. All right, so we're not going to do too much talking. We're just going to jump right into this one. Now, I rebuilt this track, right? And it's raw. I did not mix it. I did not do anything at all. I'm trying to stay as transparent as possible with you folks, all right? I wanted to hear everything, all right? So, of course, it has a little edge on it. You know, and that's kind of what makes reggae music what it is, you know, that little rough edge. All right. So some things might sound a little bit distorted, but I want you folks to concentrate on the cards that I'm about to show you and this little way I'm about to show you how it plays. All right. So, so we are going to start with the first card, right? Remember. All right. So we're talking about from where the guitar really starts playing. All right. So. The first three chords you need are D minor, G minor, to A minor. All right. Now I have a little bit of wah on my, um, you know, on my in, in my in my on my effects board. You know, I set that because I like it. It's a little bit of vibe for me. All right. So that was an example at the front. All right. So we're just gonna concentrate on the chords and the strumming pattern. Right. Of course, this one is a double skank. It's a now, if you do not know how to do that, right? I believe in a link to a video that I did previously, you know, that shows you how to strum reggae and takes care of all the stock lines and all that stuff. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and check those or check that one out. That my bad. <laughs> check that one out also all right it is very important because we need to get the feel properly all right we need to get it right all right so for all those who know let's move forward or if you just want to stay and get the cards and everything and then go to that then that is okay also all right but please remember watch the video and remember to hit the thumbs up button remember to leave a comment leave a comment tell me how you feel all right so here we go so first card you want to bar the whole fifth fret you want to place the middle finger on the second string sixth fret place that pinky finger on the third string seventh fret ring finger is on the fourth string seventh fret that right there is your d minor all right so we're going to move to the next card the next next card is going to be the g minor bar the whole third fret place the Ring finger on the fifth string, fifth fret. Pinky finger on the fourth string, fifth fret. Or if you want to switch it around, if that makes you more comfortable. But I do it like, like this. All right. The third card is going to be your A minor. It's the same thing like the G minor, just push it up a hole. All right. Now, if you do not know the structure of the song, I'm going to leave a link to the original in the description. Please listen to it, understand the song, understand the song before making any form of any comments or whatever. 
all right if you know the structure then you will know exactly where i'm at all right so and for copyright reason i will not be really singing in this video all right in any other video actually i want you folks to know that so we go rally around the flag rally around the red gold black and green so rally around the rally around the red gold black and green so we go rally around the flag you know those are the stuff that you hear you know you know some upstroke and and so so on so all those are in the video that i showed that, 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 I, that i was talking about previously all right so check that out you know and you will get that all right so um so all right right the fly rally on the red oh. mm -mm -mm. all right so those are the three cars you're going to be playing all right so here is an example You can use your little those little stuff. Slide. You slide in from the C sharp minor into the D. Like slide. Yeah. All right. I hope you got that. So that was an example, right? Now the verse for this song is, you know, fairly long. All right. So I want you to, like, like I said before, listen to the structure of the song and come back. All right. So you're gonna play those three cards, those three cards, until you get to the part where you go. They took us away, captivity, captivity. You're gonna hear that. You're gonna hear that little stuff. So. They took us away, captivity, captivity. We call you da 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 da. And say we put you in, we put you in. All my patience are long gone. Then daughters, and you're gonna continue with that part, you know. Here's an example. So here comes that part. Here we go. You hear the bass line change right there? Now, the bass line really carries the song. Here we go again. Again. Okay, so we're putting it together. I hope you guys are following. I hope you guys are following. All right. So now, um, if you were listening, or if you're listening, you will realize that the cards remain the same for most of the song, right? But what really changes is the bass line. The bass line is really making switches. The bass line is, is, is what? Sweetening the song, you know, giving it, it its feel. So I want you to listen to the bass line and you will get your cue on where, when you're supposed to change. All right. So, um... So let's, now we're going to play those three cards still until we get to that card change. Now we're, now we're going to change cards, all right? So the cards that we're going to be using, we're going to be using a, not a G minor. We're going to be using a G. We're going to be using a G major. To and F major to a D minor so this is how I play it all right and this is the way I want to teach you folks all right so you want to come all the way up here so it's like farming your D but you want to put it all the way up here all right so you want to put the arm middle finger on the first string second fret Point a finger on the third string, second fret, 
ring finger goes on the second string third fret you want to pull this all the way up here and that right there you're at your seventh fret all right but what i want you to do is to put that pinky finger over on the fourth string right ninth fret so you're gonna get to use that card so it's going like it goes like how can we say so the, that's a G major to you want to move just a hole down so the the um the pointer finger and the middle finger is going to start at the fifth fret and just keep that same position so you know you have how can we say in a strange land that right there is the d minor so i'm taking you i'm, I'm bringing it real close so the switch the switches can be easy you know so by the whole fifth fret place the middle finger well, of course i showed you the d minor before right so i don't really need to go back over that so d minor so you're gonna go how can we say in a strange land Right, it's just that when you're moving from it, you want to use a pinky finger to hit the first string of the eighth fret. All right, so you can play it like that. Alright, now here's an example. Here comes a part. To D minor. So we're gonna continue with that little part. Alright, so. In a strange land. Don't sing in the swing. All right, now we're gonna let liberation through democracy. Don't pay attention to the strumming that I'm doing right now. I'm just giving you the call through democracy. Then that right there is a E dominant, right? So we're changing the cards now, right? So that. E dominant, you want to bar the whole seventh fret. You want to place a pinky finger on the second string, ninth fret, ring finger on the fourth string, ninth fret. So we're gonna go liberation through democracy. Then one heart, one all right so let me show you all that all right so liberation to democracy then e that dominant one one, one aim now you want to move to the e flat minor it's just like the d minor but you just want to push it up just a semitone so now the pointer finger is going to be barring the whole sixth fret that's where it's going all right so you're going to go no one will sing in a strange land. My bad. <laughs> one will sing in a strange land. No one will sing in a strange land. No. Liberation. Same cards. True democracy. Change to the E dominant. One, one. E flat minor. Right there. We're basically done. Now all we want is a one destiny. So there are two cards they play right there. And those are the A dominant, A7. So E E dominant, it's E7. Dominant and we, sometimes they're gonna say seven, sometimes they're gonna say dominant. Alright, it's the same thing. Right? So 
So, so that it's going to be that A dominant to C major. All right, but it's going to be real quick. Okay, so to get that A dominant bar the whole, fifth fret place that middle finger on the third string, sixth fret. Place the ring finger on the fifth string, seventh fret. So, all right, so you want to play that one, two, then you want to move up to the C major. The C major, you want to bar the whole eighth fret, right? And it's just like the dominant, you just want to put back the pinky finger. All right, so let's, let me show you bar that. Place that middle finger on the third string, ninth fret, pinky finger on the fourth string, tenth fret, ring finger on the fifth string, tenth fret. And you finish right there. So here we go. It goes like this. How can we sing in a strange land? I want to sing in a strange land. Now, liberation to the F major. E dominant. Then E flat minor. Then. All right. So A dominant. One, two. You know, I don't want to, you don't want to do that, all right? But I'll do the upstroke, you know, because I get to, like that, all right? So, that's basically it. We're at the end of the song, all right? So, here's an example. So here we go. G major, F major, E dominant, E flat minor. Alright, so we have come to the end of the video. This is the end of it all. You know, the only thing that is left for you to do is to put all the parts together. Alright, now if you do not know the structure of the song, once again, please go ahead and listen to the structure of the song. I will not be playing out the entire song again because, you know, it's the same thing. It repeats. Alright, so um, if you want to hear it again, go back to the front of the video. Remember, watch the video in full. Well, if you're here, it means that you watched the video in full. Alright, remember to subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell when you hit subscribe and hit on. So whenever I post anything, you will be notified. You know, you will be the first to know. Alright, also hit the thumbs up button. Drop a comment to let me know exactly how you feel about this one. Let me know that if you have missed anything. And again, if you do not know how to strum reggae, you know, if you have problems, you know, doing that, there is a link in the description so hit that you know it's gonna mark how to play reggae you know in full details hit that and learn you know there's a lot more a lot lot more for us to cover all right my name is zion blessed love peace out i'll see you next time